hello guys welcome back and uh, today i'm gonna tell you what is mft basically is a managed file transfer so in this tutorial so please consider file don't consider data if you want to transfer one thing from one place to another then you will ch uh, take it as a file so basically the agenda is uh, the problem of file exchange uh, before in the in, uh, in 90s or 2000 what we do uh, when we want to exchange our files then what is mft oracle mft and uh, then uh, mft use case pattern how it can be used and transport design global visibility security so these all topic we will uh, discover in this uh, tutorial so so what is the problem of file exchange in the uh, like uh, previous previous uh, so suppose uh, one mm, person is in london and one is in uk and if they want to transfer the file then uh, if a person is uh, taking a serious document then he have to travel uh, with, uh, by a by aeroplane or flight and it will be a very costly so uh, basically in business uh, the uh, only met only thing matter is like uh, profit and loss so it makes uh, it's a huge loss for the company to transfer one person to london and to tra and uh, to uh, give the document so basically the uh, price is also there and if uh, he wants to track that person then then there is no uh, nothing by which he can uh, or the uh, the company can track the person then uh, proliferation of uh, FTP servers and client we don't know what uh, uh, by, by which uh, thing can go and uh, no central control no one can control the person uh, and when he have want to travel so basically th these things you can also make an image in your mind if you are sending a person from one place to another then what cost and uh, how securely uh, he can transfer the data suppose it's a paper and uh, he can tore the paper uh, he can make the paper wet and uh, many things uh, the cost and uh, the process is very late so every point is uh, you can create a image in your mind so what is mft mft is basically the automate like it uh, it is uh, it will uh, the all the process will be co uh, computerized uh, that is uh, automate and schedule file transfer if you want to schedule your file uh, to transfer it at 12 at night then you can schedule it high available and clustration solution if one server space and if this file sending file is uh, is uh, like uh, like corrupted uh, in the mid then it will uh, roll back to it or it will pause the uh, uh, pause the system suppose uh, uh, the uh, laptop battery or the uh, is uh, drained and the suppose the uh, laptop battery is drained and uh, the on uh, the file is in mid to transfer then it will uh, pause the uh, exchange and third point is visibility we can uh, uh, track our data and audibility we can edit our data and the main feature is like we can transfer 500 plus gp large files uh, from one place to another it is secure and pgp encryption and it is basically integrated with soha b2 uh, b2b odi and idem idem is basically a identity access manager a is missing in this so basically uh, yes idem then works with a uh, standard FTP clients, multi-threaded is, is, is MFT and extensible 
compression you can if the file is of uh, 1 GB then it will compress it to the 18 uh, 800 MBs so it will compress it and uh, MFT functional use uh, uh, case pattern basically if uh, you want to transfer um, the file from one to second place then there are many options are there so you can uh, you can directly send it uh, via MFT to the destination. You can mm, use MFT and you can find pan out. Basically, these are the terms used in the MFT. If you want to transfer a file to the uh, to a person uh, to with a two person, then you will use pan out. Then pass by reference is uh, like you are sending it to MFT. Then you are so far then MFT and then destination integration is basically you can send it to by MFT then so then to destination or it's vice, vice versa hybrid is basically then one you are sending directly to the client and the second you are using multiple things in in this middleware parts you are using like B2B, SOHA and then you are sending to destination then MFT then you are sending to destination you can send as many times as you want to as or any number of person then cloud uh, from cloud to MFT, MFT and destination basically fan out is used uh, mostly and, and we, can con we can filter our contents like suppose we have uh, a folder and it contains the excel file notepad file and xml file so you can filter it by a single filter if you want to send xml file then you can directly filter the xml and you can send it to destination then payload access if you want to add any security then you can do compression is there if uh, it will send this to destination then it will notify you and pgp encryption is there you can also schedule it so these are the basic uh, mft case pattern and basically what are the, these are the basically you can say advantage of it then simple design transfer as you can see the, uh, uh, i cropped some uh, uh, function of it suppose you are sending it to from source to destination then you have a many options there then MFT is uh, simple design of transfer browser based environment basically you can uh, reuse sources and target you can send it send it to another user by uh, reusing the file or the filters uh, schedules filter compression encryption all I explain all I explained in on the uh, recently so end to end point and extreme ease of use you can directly drag and drop your file just like uh, you do in in your in gmail you can attach anything by just drag and dropping then transfer rename duplicate we, we can do uh, deployment detail also there export and import there are many functions you can use as many uh, then visibility basically uh, like how can you track basically it contains uh, uh, contains of the dashboard uh, just like this. If you uh, something mm, sent, then it, uh, it will manage the graph according to it. It will uh, handle the exception, and the reporting is also there by this. Then, for security purpose, you can uh, uh, put some. Uh, password in your uh, uh, while sending your files and uh, and uh, out of the box end to end security using multiple key stores scheduling basically if you want to send it uh, at a late night and you want to sleep early then you can uh, schedule it then it will directly send and uh, it will be sent at directly at the late night uh, you have no need to uh, disturb your sleep so you can schedule it extensibility is like just uh, I told you in the 
uh, fan out like you can send it to many person at once just uh, and it basically it is like a week uh, for security reason it uh, it w scan the virus and uh, many things like uh, uh, virus scan on the critical files integration with Soha so Soha basically uh, we can integrate with uh, Soha uh, we can use it in the uh, Soha type applications and uh, that's it but uh, the main advantage of this we can track we can schedule we can send more than five uh, 500 GB data and uh, security these are the basically four or five characteristics of this is a MFT so thank you so much guys for watching if you have any query then please do comment and I will love to share my knowledge with you guys thank you so much